<laughs> Playing the game of life has sometimes been easier than living life for 15-year-old Carolyn. Carolyn's constipation since birth has caused a lot of embarrassment, frustration, and pain. I had accidents and I just, I don't know, I just kind of, like, everything that was normal, I guess, was kind of hard. It controlled all of our lives. You know, we couldn't go places, we couldn't do things. Then when Carolyn was seven years old, after normal medications, diet changes, and behavior therapies didn't work, doctors at Nationwide Children's Hospital performed a procedure called a percutaneous cecostomy. The cecostomy allowed Carolyn to flush herself out every day. Staying clean meant no more accidents and new adventures like sleepovers and sports that weren't possible before. This is a, an intervention for only for children who have failed everything else. Dr. Carlo Di Lorenzo is the chief of pediatric gastroenterology, hepatology and nutrition at Nationwide Children's Hospital. I really think that we have the largest experience in the country using this technique uh, for children with constipation. Inside the hospital's Center for Digestive Disorders, Dr. Di Lorenzo sees patients from all over the world who come for the thorough and unique care. You're feeling okay? Your belly doesn't hurt? Here, patients benefit from research-based innovations in treatments and techniques, as well as a wide range of specialized tools and testing, like this test, which measures how well the colon is working. Nationwide Children's comprehensive approach to diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up care, driven by its collaborative team of specialists, offers kids with functional constipation the best care from start to finish. We have a, a group of uh, psychologists, uh, specialized nurses, uh, interventional radiologists, uh, dietitians, all working together in taking care of this common but at times very disabling problem. Many patients find new hope with the percutaneous cecostomy, a procedure that has an excellent record for improving the quality of kids' lives. Unlike a traditional cecostomy, which requires surgery, the percutaneous cecostomy is a minimally invasive procedure performed by an interventional radiologist using x-ray and ultrasound imaging as a guide. We can see things and that lets us use small instruments and small ways of doing things for people, much less invasive uh, than opening a person up, which is better tolerated by the patients. They have less pain, it can be quicker, uh, recovery can be better as well. A cecostomy patient comes in a few days before to have his or her colon cleaned out. Then the interventional radiologist places the cecostomy tube in about 30 minutes. We'll inflate the colon so that we can see it with x-rays and using that we just make a teeny hole in the skin and put a needle into the colon. And just using that little needle hole we're able to put in a tube into the colon. Uh, and that's the whole procedure. That tube connects the outside skin to the cecum, the first part of the large intestine. Six weeks later, the tube is replaced with something called a chait button. So this is the chait buttons in a patient. This is on the outside of a patient. You can see it looks like the size about of a postage stamp, very easy to hide under your pants or a swimsuit. This is the inside part, which is inside the body, and this curly cues up in the cecum and holds it up. To use it, the patient simply open the door, they hook in this extension tubing, they hook the tubing to the bag, and they do the irrigation. When it's done, we simply take the tubing out, close the door, and once again they can hide it under their clothing and no one will see it. Once the button is in place, a patient can flush out his or her colon using a liquid cleansing solution. A patient simply waits on the toilet for the liquid to move through and the waste to come out. This is probably one of the most life-altering procedures that we do. As far as success rate in improving the quality of life, I would say it's almost 100%. All right, let me check your belly for a second and uh, then we'll let you go. And like one out of every three kids who has a percutaneous cecostomy, Carolyn doesn't need it anymore. She's able now to go on her own. Her life changed. Children come from all over the country to Nationwide Children's Hospital because we truly employ a team approach to the problem of constipation. An approach that keeps Carolyn now fully engaged in the game of life. Mm -hmm.